we have an analogic uh, development board for it's kind of like a development board for a set of bucks. What is this? Yep. Uh, so we've got a single core Cortex A9 with the single core Mali 400. Uh, and in this instance, we're showing a set-top box um, user interface. So it's called NDS Snowflake, uh, and we can see it on the screen here. So it's quite impressive because it's not only doing hardware 1080p MPEG-4 decoding in the background, it's also doing 21 simultaneous software decoding of various different channels. Of so um, 21 software decoding, mm -hmm. what does that mean? It's, this is so doing... These files, um, we've currently got them stored on the SD card, but um, in reality you'd have them streaming from uh, the internet or your um, set -top box. Uh, and yeah, they're just doing software decoding of the video, uh, and we've got 21 different ones here in the tile. So does that mean there's 22 videos playing at the same time? Yes. One in full HD in the background? Yeah, in using hardware accelerated video decoding, and the other 21 are software decoding. Uh, why would you do with software decoding for the 21? Well, you want to uh, keep the hardware decoder for the large 1080p and yeah. MPEG-4 high quality. So uh, we've got here, um, if we select a video, um, pick one, you can see it transform from the software content into the hardware content here. Nice. It doesn't even skip or anything, it's just yep. smooth. So if we go back and s select a different one, so you can see the software and then it hits into hardware. Nice. Is there any way that uh, if, if it had more hardware decoding, like if it could do 60 frames per second 1080p, it might have uh, extra that it could do these thumbnails with the hardware as well? Well, the idea here is that the thumbnails are so small and so numerous that you don't really necessarily need that sort of quality uh, just for thumbnails. So it, it's perfectly acceptable to have these little thumbnails running into the decoder. So uh, actually the, the, the software kind of generated thumbnail videos, no? Is that what it's playing? So it's playing very low resolution thumbnails, no? Yes, um, effectively, yeah, we've got little th thumbnail It's videos. not actually playing the, the, the native file. It, it is, it's, it's got the video file, it's decoding it in software and okay. now puts in tiny uh, resolution thumbnails as you were. So if we wait, it's going to actually play the whole movie for each of these? Yeah, well, we've selected a new movie, for instance. It's not only going to loop the first few seconds or something like that? Oh, no, it plays the entire movie. All right. So we pick this one, for instance. Is it Android-based? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, so I can exit yeah. back in, into the Android set-top box if you like. So the analogic box is getting into a bunch of uh, different devices. There is could be something like this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's analogic-based as well. Um, we have another analogic here. Analogic there. And so this is uh, fully yeah. ready for beautiful UI. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Mali 400. Yes. But uh, this is a single core Mali 400, so mm -hmm. it's different from that one, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so that one's a quad core Mali 400. So that's sort of designed more for gaming, yeah. whereas this is just for set top box. But uh, when you get a single core A9, you get a dual core Mali 400 or does it you work? You can have anywhere between 1 to 4 A9s yeah. with a combination of anywhere between 1 to 4 uh, Mali 400s in this setup. So they've just chosen to do single A9 and single Mali 400. Single Mali 400.